a 1 to 1 scale procedurally generated galaxy based on real scientific principles and genuine astronomical data featuring billions of star systems. Gameplay focused on science and exploration, on foot gameplay as well as spaceships, single and cooperative multiplayer. All of this and more is part of the proposed feature list for the in development indie title Starship Simulator and if this is sounding familiar to you then you'll doubtless understand why Starship Simulator has piqued our interest. To the casual observer Starship Simulator may appear to be just an attempt at a Star Trek ripoff but whilst the tech demo for the game, which is available to download and try now, does share some obvious design cues from shows like Star Trek, the proposed gameplay options go way deeper than the more channeled and less open world offerings that particular franchise has historically been able to offer up when turned into a game. Not only is Starship Simulator not going the heavily scripted spoon fed story experience way with its players instead being encouraged to, dare I say it, blaze their own trail but the experience doesn't begin and end with the sliding doors at the back of the familiar bridge setting. As well as simulating a 1 to 1 scale galaxy, as the name implies, the game is simulating the starship as well. The entire starship all 200 plus rooms and 7 decks on board the ship including recreational areas, conference rooms, the reactor room, crew and passenger quarters with plans for a fleshed out shuttle bay and medical facilities. And with all these additional rooms on the ship then the roles available to players, particularly in multiplayer, expand to accommodate them. Choose to be the ships engineer and you'll find yourself responsible for maintaining and repairing the ship systems, ensuring critical systems in particular are ready when the bridge crew demand them, just like a regular miracle worker. Science officers will work from a dedicated bridge station scanning stellar objects and performing tests on samples and procedurally generated artifacts gathered by the ship and crew. Once deemed safe these artifacts could even be used to adorn your ship. Likewise tactical officers will handle the ships defences from a dedicated station on the bridge but during away missions down to the planet's surface via shuttlecraft launched from the ships aft shuttle bay you'll also become the teams security detail. There's even a planned role for a morale officer doubling up as a chef and barkeep in the lounge area. You'll doubtless need to include excellent listener there amongst your skill set. Not only is the plan to fully outfit the ship with a full complement of roles to be filled NPCs can also take the lead with this stuff by the way for the more single player minded but as I mentioned and indeed as the name implies the starship itself is fully simulated. Right now the tech demo features a working reactor and electrical system complete with banks of batteries and a working electrical distribution system with usable switches and multiple points of potential failure. Power can be shunted away from an entire deck for example plunging it into darkness and the system is only set to expand in the future. The ship itself including its wiring and systems have been designed in CAD software using the same real world principles as modern naval vessels and then ported into the Unreal Engine. Every button, switch and readout on the ship does something. Going forward the developers Fleet Yard Studios are looking to add procedurally generated alien civilizations at varying levels of technological advancement to populate the galaxy all of which will have their own personality traits and potential for aggression making diplomacy just as important as defence. As you'd perhaps expect your character will be fully customisable but you'll also customise the ships interior colour scheme and lighting without the need to purchase skins or paint jobs. The plan in fact is that the base game with everything I've just described will always be free. The developers do have future plans for more very different spacecraft that are an optional purchase and also for single player more scripted story type experiences that will also be paid content. The team are soon taking the game to Kickstarter in order to start the next big steps in development adding more gameplay and life to the ship and the galaxy. 
Right now Starship Simulator is one of the featured titles in Steam's next fest that aims to showcase and promote promising upcoming games. That festival runs until the 26th of June. And you can download the tech demo of Starship Simulator for free and take a look around the ship in single or multiplayer whilst also exploring the galaxy. You'll find links below to the Starship Simulator Discord server and website if you're curious to learn more. That's it for now. We'll be back later this week with more videos. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also become a patron and gain access to exclusive perks, content and community events just like the wonderful folks you see listed on screen right now.